So, um, thank you guys for checking out our new series, Story Time, where we will talk about funny things or interesting things that we think happen throughout our life. Um, for this story time, we will be talking about our first date. Mind you, Andrea and I knew each other from work. You can check out our um, question and answer video about exactly how we met. But for this story, we will be talking about um, the first time we went out. Um, to give you a little backstory, I asked her out. And um, at that time, I did not have a car. I pretty much didn't, didn't really have shit. No. Nope. But um, she said that she would pick me up. And I thought it was me and her by ourselves. Nobody. Going out. But when she pulled up to my apartment, um, I got a really nice une surprise. Really unexpected surprise. Yeah, he asked me to to hang out. Hang Net out. Netflix and, and chill. I'm not so much into that Netflix and chill thing. And I just knew him from saying hi and bye, pretty much. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we just talked at the gate. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. And um. I don't want to get in the situation that um, I kind of have to smack him in the face or something. So I brought my friend with me. She pretty much, much was um, my she, bodyguard. Yes, and when you think, think of the most famous person in the world and think about the person that bodyguard, that guards that person's body, that their bodyguard is. You know, the big guy with the, with the, with the beard and not really muscular, but really fat and just you don't want to mess with him. That's what her friend looked like. Mind you, her friend. Bodyguard. Mind you, her free, her friend is a female, <laughs> and um, she look. Don't be mean, though. I don't want to be mean. She just look like a bodyguard. So she pulls up to my apartment. She writes me over the Facebook messenger messenger to say that she's downstairs. So I come downstairs and I'm expecting. Wait, was she in the front? No, she was in the back seat. She right? was in the back seat. Yes. So I didn't see her. When we first, when I first got in the car, because it was like nine o'clock at night, so I didn't see her. So I get in the car and I'm like, "Hey, how are you?" Blah blah blah, talking. And all I hear from the back is, "I'm okay." <laughs> so I turn around, and this thing is staring me in my face, and I got scared. You said something like, "And who are you?" Yeah. And she said, "I'm Drea's friend." So I said, "Okay." So mind you, I'm confused now, cause. It's her in the car next to me, looking like there's nothing wrong. She did not send me a warning. She did not tell me anything. All I know is, is I get in the car and her bodyguard is there. So we driving. And um, I'm expecting to talk to Dre because this is our first time actually sitting, sitting down talking. But not only is the bodyguard there, the bodyguard, the bodyguard can't shut the fuck up. <laughs> She's very talkative. Yes, she's very talkative. <laughs> and she's telling me about, this is the funny, she's telling me about all, because she's, her bodyguard, I found out that her bodyguard is really involved in, um, ice hockey. Ice hockey. Well, I was gonna, hockey. Because, and her bodyguard is not only her bodyguard, her bodyguard is, um, delusional. Right? Yeah, you can say that. She was telling me how she's having this affair with the most famous person on the, um, team. Team. And how he sending her to all these places, and how he loves her so much, and all this stuff. So I'm just sitting there listening to these stories of how the ice hockey um, player is sending her all these roses, and how he's just with her wife just because it looks good to the public, but secretly they're in love, and all this type of stuff. Of course, it's, it wasn't true, um, but that's not the matter. Funny thing is, um, we got to my apartment, um, we sat down, I brought a two. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sitting where I'm at now. Andrea's on the all the side of the sofa. And it gets where the body bodyguard said at. Right beside Bam! me. <laughs> right beside me. And I brought two or three bottles of wine, right? Yeah. And Which was, I don't <clears throat> drink. So I didn't drink anything. We was drinking and um my bodyguard got a little tipsy. And that's when it all began. And she talked for I saw I think three hours, four hours? Four or five hours in a row. Like, I got really quiet. I, I think I even slept off. Yeah, like... I don't I, remember. Like, I, throughout the whole four hours, I never got a word in, but uh-huh, okay? And I didn't even get to talk to Andrea. She was just over in the corner, like, I don't know what she was doing. I didn't even think that she liked me, because she just sat over in the, in the corner. But the bodyguard, yes, the bodyguard talked so much about everything, about how every man 
under the sun wanted her and how she had to fight him off with a stick. Yeah, she talked to him. We drove him home, right? Yep, you dropped me off. Then I dropped her off and in the car she told me that she thinks she have a crush on him. Yes. So I thought it's my time to step back and let things happen. But fast forward three months later, we become a couple, right? Yeah. But the bodyguard did not know that yet. So I remember this like it was yesterday. I was over at her apartment and the bodyguard wrote Andrea and said something like um, her car broke down or something or something like that. Can you No, She said that she had to take her car to the shop. So could Andrea pick her up from the shop? Yeah. So you asked me to go with you. So I'm like, okay, I'll go with you. So we go to the, to the car shop where the, body, where, the, where the bodyguard is and we pick up the bodyguard. And I remember the face the bodyguard gave us when she saw that I was in the car. Like I, I drove her home from the shop and she stopped talking and gave us a face and I never heard from her again. Okay guys, that was our first story time. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed that, if we should talk about more stories because we've been together, what, seven years now? Yeah. So we have a few stories that we can share with you guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and comment below. Peace out. Oh shit, you got my fingernails. This is from the last video if you guys want to wonder why my fingernails look like Barbie. That's from the last video. Y'all should check that out.